Hi there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. I am here at the JSP Honda Big Wing showroom here in Hyderabad and today we are featuring the new Hue edition for the CB350 RS. So what all new have they tried to offer or is there anything new apart from the paint scheme and the graphics? We are going to find out and I am going to give you a quick fire overview as well. Uh, the ride impression and the top speed run you can watch by following the link mentioned in the description portion below because it has already been done earlier. Now, also, I'll try to list out the differences between the RS and the Highness variant such that you have a better clarity on which model to go for. First of all, the differences uh, between the Highness and the RS. If you have a closer look, this one is a more sportier rendition and a more new age, modern uh, avatar kind of an update when compared to an age old uh, retro roadster ap approach that the Highness has. So this one has GT stripes, more blacked out elements when compared to chrome. So all the chrome elements have been replaced with blacked out elements to add a sporty character and uh, a little bit of modern approach here. Another thing that is clearly apparent uh, are the tyres. Now the Highness gets a 19 inch front wheel and an 18 inch rear wheel. This one gets a 19 inch front wheel and a 17 inch rear wheel and you get a 150 section fatter rear tyre and the tyres are also block pattern tyres to give you a feel of a scrambler. Uh, the tail lamp is different here, that is a clear clear visual uh, element that is clearly apparent. So this one is neatly encapsulated, again adds a modern uh, retro approach, a neo retro approach. Uh, the turn indicators are different again here and they are LED turn, turn blinkers to add a little bit of new age touch. Everything else more or less remains uh, the same because uh, apart from the fact that the exhaust is completely blacked out and it has a slightly different tone to it, a slightly more racier, peppier uh, tone to the exhaust. So let's hope uh, we can get a feel of that. So you can see this one is slightly more peppier, racier uh, than the age old thump that the uh, Highness gets. that was the exhaust note now other elements for the hue edition is first of all the new color scheme as you can see here uh, the blue with the red stripe and the silver uh, accent really adds on to the visual appeal makes it look far more striking than ever before you also have the honda branding in 3d and uh, the uh, the side panel here again has uh, neatly imbibed the logo of the cb350 rs uh, which also looks visually very uh, cool and appealing to the eye. Again, uh, the suspension, the technical specs, the features, the equipment, everything else remains more or less the same. As you can see, the front has 41mm forks, telescopic forks, uh, the brakes, you have a hubless disc, 310mm uh, disc, just like the Highness, Nissan caliper as well. Uh, talking about uh, other relevant specs, the seat height is 800mm, uh, the tank capacity is 15 litres, very usable tank capacity and adequate amount of ground clearance of 166 mm such that you don't have to worry about uh, you know while uh, uh, tackling any speed breakers again neatly encapsulated uh, grab bars here uh, for the pillion because you have a seamless tail section again the rear fender is kind of bobbed out or uh, kinds kind of reminds you of a scrambler because it has a kind of a scrambler approach to it even the sari guard is neatly laid out uh, you have twin shock absorbers at the back to offer a nice plush ride quality again uh, here the suspension tuning is slightly on the stiffer side when compared to the softer setting of the highness uh, to give a sporty ride experience now talking about uh, uh, the seating posture so if you sit on the motorcycle again it has a very very good uh, neatly established rider's triangle such that uh, minimal effort fatigue free riding experience uh, here you don't get a heel and toe shifter uh, here you get a toe shifter for the gearbox and you get a five speed uh, gearbox here and the handlebar is neatly laid out again you have a nice upright uh, seating posture with the spine being straight and as i told you the footrests are again not forward set nor completely rear set they are perfectly centrally set such that you can stand up and ride uh, while uh, tackling off-road or dirt patches. Now talking about uh, the electronic aids on offer, here you have dual channel ABS as standard and you also have HSTC, Honda selectable torque control or traction control. So you can turn it on or off as per your vision will. All you need to do is press uh, this uh, button below to turn off traction control and to turn it back on, long press it to turn or engage traction control back on or you can simply turn it 
on or turn i mean turn off and turn on the ignition to engage traction control one more time another thing is a uh, hidden eco mode that uh, is engaged by pressing both the buttons here so here you have in eco mode on or off option you can turn it off or turn it on as per your wish and will uh, this obviously as the name uh, suggests will optimize mileage and uh, better uh, fuel efficiency and if you want to turn it off you can turn it off uh, to offer a blend of both uh, you know get best of both worlds good uh, pick up right of the mark better throttle response and then of course you have other parameters to play around with uh, like the time and the brightness we can decrease or increase the brightness of the display as per your uh, personal uh, wish now coming back to the overall uh, uh, overview of the uh, <coughs> motorcycle the bike comes powered by 350 cc single air cooled motor that puts out 20 bhp of max power and 30 newton meters of max torque and you get a five speed gearbox and the most uh, the state of tune of the bike almost is similar to that of the highness but the overall visual appeal is completely changed and the riding dynamics also is slightly changed when compared to the uh, more conservative uh, approach of the highness so this is the overview and the price difference is around 3000 rupees between the rs and the highness so this is uh, x showroom price is around 2 lakhs 19000 uh, x showroom here in hyderabad to know the exact on road price you can get in touch with the jsp team here at honda big wing hyderabad so that's pretty much it what do you think about the rs model uh, this is the blue color variant has a little bit of blue uh, elements here to highlight uh, the retro new retro approach you have gt stripe here and this is the red color variant as well if we can have a look has more prominent uh, red uh, accents over here with a blue stripe and the silver base following a you know, perfect tricolor uh, uh, combo to highlight the visual aesthetics of the motorcycle so that's pretty much it if you like what you see and uh, want to see more pure automobile content coming your way uh, stay tuned to dino's world for more action and as it unfolds right here see you guys next time until then take care god bless and ride safe